All right, it's time for circle time. We're gonna begin with the flag salute. So everybody get your right hand, put it over your heart, look at the flag and begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. All right, well, we're gonna start with our good morning song. So everyone sit down with me. Here we go. Good morning, good morning. How are you? How are you? Very fine, I thank you. Very fine, I thank you. And you, and you. Now in Spanish, buenos dias, buenos dias. Como estas? Como estas? Muy bien, gracias. Muy bien, gracias. Y usted, y usted. All right, now we're going to do our months of the year. Starting with January. January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. All right, what month are we in? This is the month of April. January, February, March, April. We're in the month of April now. All right, let's move on over here to our letters. We're gonna work on reviewing our letters, starting with letter what? D, good. Big D, little D. What begins with D? Door, doggy. Can you guys think of things that begin with the letter D? All right, now we're gonna move on to letter E. Big E, little E. What begins with E? These are ears. How about a elephant? Can you think of things that start with the letter E? Letter F, big F, little F. What begins with F? Flower, fish. Can you guys come up with some more things that start with F? All right, good job. Now, let's do our colors and we're gonna sing the rainbow song again. Starting down here with the color red. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Red, orange, yellow, Green, blue, purple, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. God made the rainbow bright, bright, bright. Aren't rainbows beautiful? Sometimes when you look at a rainbow, you see a mix of colors. You see pink, you see some gray in there, you see some brown mixed in. The rainbow is beautiful and sometimes even the sunrise or the sunset has beautiful colors in the sky. And you can pick out some of our colors here when you just look at the sky. Isn't God great? Isn't he amazing, the things that he can make? All right, let's move on to our calendar. And we're gonna do days of the week and we're gonna clap this time, okay? Here we go. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Here we go. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday, days of the week, Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Okay, so let's figure out what day it is today. We're gonna count all together starting with number one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Today is Tuesday, April 14th, 2020. And so today's Tuesday, that means yesterday was Monday and tomorrow will be Wednesday. Wow, the week goes by so fast. All this fun learning. Our season is spring and remember we talked about we can see rainbows in the sky when it's raining and there's sunshine. And so that's our season of spring. But let's look outside right now and discover What's the weather gonna to be today? All right, is it gonna be partly cloudy today? Sometimes it's partly cloudy in the morning and then after that, the sun comes out and it's sunny. How about, is it just dark and cloudy? The sky is dark, maybe it looks like it's gonna rain. How about windy? Windy, windy, windy. And thunder and lightning, rain stormy and snowing. <laughs> Sometimes it snows in the hills when it rains and it's really cool. 
All right, well, let's move on to an activity for today. All right, so today we're talking about barns and how important a barn is when you have a farm and we have a bunch of animals. Barns are awesome to keep animals warm, to keep them safe, to keep them protected. So what I thought would be cool is if we made a barn out of shapes. Now, if you can see this, this kind of walks you through. You kind of start with a square and then a triangle. And of course, you keep adding rectangles. And so that's what I did with my barn is I got a piece of red paper, but if you guys don't have colored paper, you can just use white paper and you can color it in later. Um, to make the barn doors open, what I did is I got a, a square piece of paper and then I folded it. I folded the doors in like that. And, um, and you can see then the doors can open and close and it's just folded. And um, I got pieces of paper and I printed off the computer pictures of farm animals and I cut them out. So you guys can get creative with the different animals that you wanna put inside of your barn. And you can play little games like, oh, what's inside my barn? Let's open the doors and find out. And then you open the doors and you have people identify, can you find the animals in there? So, and you can see that um, I used different shapes. Can you guys find triangles in here? Can you guys see any triangles? There's, tri there's a triangle up here on top of the barn. There's tri little triangles in the, in the windows. There's rectangles. I used a circle for the sun. So get creative. Make your barn super cool the way you want to make it. And you can make it colorful. You can add more animals if you want. You can make it bigger. Um, if you have puzzle pieces at home that are different shapes, maybe you guys have, a, uh, have shapes around the house or, like I said, puzzle pieces, you can use those to trace if you want. Um, so, But I'm excited to see what your barns look like and how creative and unique that you make them because they're special. And they're special because you made it. So anyways, have fun making your barn. All right, well, I wanted to talk to you guys today about the importance of a barn. Because when you're at a farm, sometimes you'll see lots of different kinds of barns set up. And I wanna to talk to you about why a barn is important for the animals and for the farm in general. So let's take a look inside and see what's going on in there. So on both sides of the barn, you see there's areas to keep individual horses or individual animals. And they have this set up in barns because it takes care of the animals, it keeps the animals out of the weather. Also, if an animal is sick or injured, it's better to take care of the animal in a smaller location um, for the animal's health. But barns are great because it keeps the animals dry, it keeps them safe, you can feed them, you can take care of them, and they each have their own little, uh, their own little space. So let's see what the quarters are like for animals in here. There's a spot for the animals inside, and there's a spot for the animals to go outside. Isn't this great? They have shade, they have sun, everything that they need. All right, so one of the things that you might find in a barn is a tack room. And this keeps supplies that you need for the animals, whether it's horses or sheep or goats, whatever you've got going on. A tack room is great to keep supplies out of the weather and it keeps things um, lasting longer. So for good use, let's check it out. Let's see what the tack room is all about. You've got places to put all of your horse gear bridles, everything that you need to care for animals you can find inside of a, a tack room. Helmets are an important part, especially when you're riding horses to keep safe. And um, everything that you would need for horses you would find in a tack room. All right, so this barn has an exercise pin connected to it. And really this is just an outdoor area that you can keep any animals. It's a larger area than what we saw, the inside quarters that we saw inside the barn. This is just a larger area uh, to keep animals, but it's still covered. It's still protected from the weather and from the outside elements, but it's also a great space. All right, so this is another type of barn that you might see around a farm. And what's great about this is this holds all of the hay and grain and food that you would need to feed your animals, but it keeps it from getting wet and from getting ruined in the rain because if, if food gets wet for the animals, then it gets moldy and then it can make the animals sick. So this is a safe place to keep the food and grain that you'd feed animals. And it also holds plenty of, of uh, hay, so you can hold a lot of things in here for all the animals that you're feeding. You'll also notice that there's some cats hiding up there. Those cats are, are protecting the hay from the mice that might wanna make a home in here. And so the cats have found their home. But so this is another type of barn that you might see and it just holds the food for the animals. Isn't that cool? All right, so I'm gonna read you a story today. Can you guess what animal we're gonna talk about? What farm animal? That's right, we're gonna see a little sheep today. The book is called, Who Says Ba? 
little lamb lost his uh, He took a deep breath and nothing. Then off in the distance, he heard, bah. It's my bah. I must find it, little lamb said. And off he went. Hello, fuzzy puppy, said little lamb. Do you have my bah? No, answered the puppy. I have a bark, ruff, ruff, but I don't have your bah. See the puppy? Hello, buzzing bumblebee, said little lamb. Do you have my bat? No, answered the bee, as he rested on a soft flower. I have a buzz, but I don't have your bat. Hello, soft orange cat, said little lamb. Do you have my bat? No, answered the cat. I have a meow, but I don't have your bat. Hello, brown owl, said little lamb. Do you have my bat? No, answered the owl. I have a hoo hoo, but I don't have your bat. Hello, feathery duck, said the little lamb. Do you have my bat? No, answered the duck. I have five quacking ducklings, but I don't have your bat. Is he ever gonna find it? Hello, fluffy bunny, said little lamb. Do you have my bat? No, answered the bunny. I have some carrots, but I don't have your bat. Excuse me, but do you have my bat? Said little lamb. Bah, the lambs replied. My bat, thank you. I'll never lose it again, cheered little lamb. And he let out a loud bah. He found all his friends and now he's happy with his lamb family. <laughs>